In my last video, Dan Harold commented that table saw tables might not be perfectly flat. And he's right. So, um, uh, especially cheap ones. Like, like Dan said, he has like a Craftsman that's not very good quality. So, um, we're going to check the cylinder head here to see if it is in fact flat after lapping it on my Grizzly table saw. And I just so happen to have a granite surface plate. Uh, I use this for sharpening, mostly for sharpening chisels, but it's really good for um, sharpening knives and stuff. Granite's really stable, so it doesn't, doesn't warp over time or anything. It's, it's what machinists use as a reference. So, so what we're going to do here is make sure the surface is nice and clean. And we're going to put some of this die cam blue layout stuff. It's just like this blue die that's um, it's a very thin die. So um, it, when, it, uh, when it's on the surface, it, it doesn't build up. So it's a very thin layer. So machinists like to use it for comparing surfaces. And in fact, this is what I'm going to use later to check the valves to see if the valves are still in alignment. So, so I'm just going to run rub a thin layer of this on the surface plate here. All right, and now I'm going to rub it on the cylinder head. And if the cylinder head is in fact flat, it should um, pretty much get covered everywhere. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous now. Okay, so one thing I can feel that it's there's no rocking or anything. Ooh, uh oh, crap. Damn it. Okay, it wasn't perfectly clean. Oh man. I scratched it up a little bit. Um, okay, this isn't working at all. <laughs> um, it's not transferring over. I'm not quite sure why. You know what I think it is? I think... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do the opposite. The, uh, the granite's a little bit... Almost kind of porous, so it kind of soaked in a little bit rather than staying on the surface. So instead... This is <laughs> just not working for me. Um, I think there's somehow some little grit in there. Ah, right there. Stuff is falling down from inside and, and just the littlest thing is getting there. Man. Okay, I need something that's not too abrasive, but that will wear away the dye. So I don't know how I can explain this to you, but um, when I put this surface plate on, this feels totally flat. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm just trying to do like now a visual demonstration. <laughs> um, not at all. Now let's see if you can tell. <laughs> um, so what you want to see now is that the blue pretty much wore off evenly. And it's tough in here with this um, little cell phone camera and the lighting to kind of demonstrate that. But um, let's see if I can get a low angle here. So I don't know if you can see that um, the blue is in fact pretty even. 
and it has been worn away to some degree. I don't know if you can tell. There are some slight sl scratches now that I gotta do a few more passes that I wanna clean up. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, I think this is gonna be certainly flat enough to uh, get a good seal with the gasket, so. All right, so next time I will be uh, hopefully putting this thing back together. See you then.